Okay, I've got another new Lightroom Classic feature to share with you. This is a pretty cool one. In a previous video, I shared about lens blur in Lightroom Classic, which is fantastic. This new one is a new color mixer tool. So you are probably used to HSL, which is what you see right here. HSL being the ability to adjust the hue, saturation, and luminance of your colors of reds overall, of oranges overall, of yellows, greens, aqua, blue, purple, magenta, overall of the hue, the saturation, and the luminance, okay? But the new point color tool allows you to dial in specific colors to basically do whatever you want. <laughs> so check this out. I can go to the point color tool, grab the dropper, and I could say that I wanna take this white hue right here. Actually, let's get more specific. Let's take their the bridesmaids dresses and I want to select that blue. I'm going to visualize that range and I'm going to expand it just a little bit. So I am now guaranteed it's doing, you can see here selective color is the visualization of the range, but I can see that it has selected the entire dress in its entirety, right? Now I can uncheck that, go back to color and I could shift the, the colors. I can saturate just the dresses. I could actually say I want to make them more purple <laughs> just those dresses. I can desaturate if it's too much and I can adjust the luminance, make them darker and brighter. So you can see here, I literally just shifted just the bridesmaids dresses to be a different color. Let's show a different example. Let's say I want to take the red flowers. Now, if I do this and I visualize the range, you'll see I am also getting the red over here with the little buoy flotation thing that's for the pool that I was standing in front of. <laughs> and you can see I got it from the bouquets over here. So I will be shifting reds overall, not just here in this case, not just the flowers. I am also getting this red here, but you can see there's no reds in the flowers up here. If I uncheck that, you can see there's no reds. So now if I was to go and I wanna make these more orangey, I could do that by making it like that. And then I could saturate that a little bit more make them a little bit brighter. And now you can see I've got these sort of orangey roses inside of the bouquets. But at the same time, I got this orangey color here as well in the flotation device that's there. So it's not perfect to get only a specific part of an image, but it does a really darn good job of doing it for a specific color overall. And you can see I can go back to the blue again and adjust that, this is non-destructive. Finally, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna choose the building Let's say I don't like the color of the of the stucco wall and I want to select that. Uh, again, let's visualize that range. And you can see if I do this, I'm going to get skin tones. If I reduce the, the range, I'm still all the way down at zero. I would still get the skin tones in both, well, in everybody, really. <laughs> everybody except one of, the, one of the bridesmaids. I'm going to get skin tones in. As you can see, those are in color, whereas everything else is black and white. So in this case, point rage won't be effective. I would have to do it non-destructively, local non-destructively. So if I was to do this, let's uncheck that. I can go in and let's say I wanted to do it with here, range, color range, luminous range. I'd have to do it like that, or I'd have to do it with a gradient instead. So I'd have to go and do linear gradient, do something like this. And now I would have to go in and say, I only wanted to do it on on that on that uh, on that range and then on that color right so i can go in and dial in there so i can go point color specifically on this gradient so again point color works in local adjustments and i can go in i can shift it just in that spot just like that right so obviously that is not something what you see right here is not something that somebody would actually do <laughs> but you get to see what is possible in in the shifting right you wouldn't make it this ugly but it's anything is possible. That has is how cool point color is. The fact that it's global adjustment and a local adjustment.